everybody, I'm back with a comic book haul video to show you. I got a few things in the background, trying to break it up a little bit, trying to make it look very interesting. Hopefully it does. Like I said, a lot of these books I still got to go through. Like I said, I've been doing so many different things I've been doing and everything, and I haven't been doing any haul videos, and I got to get back to doing it because I love doing these. I love picking up the comic books, and I put them in a pile, and they, they're sitting here, and I'm thinking, get a haul video done because usually when I do the haul video, once I get them done, then I put them in with the rest of my collection and everything. Because right now, they're sitting on the floor. They've been sitting on the floor for a couple of weeks, and I'm like, I got to get this done. So, okay, here we go with the showing you the books. Um, I love Mike Diodato. And I saw this, I said, wait a minute, I don't remember seeing this one. It's called The Red One, Red Zone. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, when did he do this? He's been knocking out a lot of books for this AWA Studios. I'm like, wow. So, that's number one of that. A lot of these, like I said, got them at Half Price Books. This is cool. Janet likes to get the, like, the holiday uh, special comic books and stuff like that. So when I saw this, anything I see with Christmas or Halloween or Father's Day, Mother's Day, anything like that. If it's a themed comic book like that, I usually pick them up, Valentine's Day. So uh, here's Red Hood and the Outlaws. And it, at first when I looked, I said, wait a minute, that looks like Deadpool, but it's not. So Red Hood. And it's number uh, annual, annual number two. This is cool. I, I like to get these because it's just nice clean cover with the logos in the background. That, that is cool. So that's Batman and Robin number 19. This is different. Rat Fink Comics. Ed Big Daddy Ross. <laughs> I was like, okay. So kind of like the underground artwork and stuff. Really cool. This is cool. I always like to get these every time I see them. Red Hood and the Outlaws number 15. It's got like a mask. So you open it up. I think that's Robin or Red Hood under there. This is cool. This is Rose. Um, I think... I don't know if I showed this before or not. I gotta make sure I'm not showing the same comic books, but I don't think so. This is Rose with uh, Dave Finch, no, George Perez artwork on it, but it's done by Meredith Finch, the, the writing. It's number five. I thought that was cool. And you know what, let me check check something because it's a little dark. Let me uh, make it a little lighter. Oh, here we go, hopefully it's a little lighter. Oh, eh, it's, it's lighting the other way, so, but this is cool. I always like uh, Alex Ross covers, so Red Sonya. And Conan, number one. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. It was cool. And here's Red Sonya and Tarzan, number one. Adam Hughes cover. Very beautiful. And I like these. I've been trying to get the complete collection of Red Sonya with um, um, Joseph Lins Linsner artwork on it. And this is number six right here. Here's number seven. He's just some beautiful work. Here's number 19. So I'm trying to put them all together. And I got them sitting over here, so I'm, I'm trying to put... Every time I find one, I put it all together. I haven't found number one yet. This is a new one I got. Spider-Man, The Mutant Agenda, number one. Here's Silver Surfer, 74. And Silver Surfer Black, number two. Sectors, number one. Cool. This is cool. This is Shazam with one magic word. Shazam. This is number three. I thought that was cool. Then Sergeant Rock. This is number 303. Nice. Then this is number 360. Very cool. Here's number 364. And number 7. This is a special. This is cool. This is cool. When I found this one, Star Wars Tales, number 21. I found a bunch of these at Half Price Books uh, a few years ago. And some of them I picked up and some of them I didn't. And I don't know if I got this one or not. I have to check my collection, but I found another one if I did if I did pick it up before. But this is Star Wars Tales, number 21. And these are going for a little bit of money. I'm like, really? Anything Star Wars? It's going for a lot. Like, I guess maybe not everything, but Steam Wars, Princess Legends, number one. I thought that was cool. I like, love Sherlock Holmes. Cases of Sherlock Holmes, number 12. I like the movies and the old movies and everything. And uh, the newer stuff. And the comic books and I got novels and stuff. Right? My, uh, I'm trying to think of that. My dad gave me something. And then I think Janet bought me something. And I usually when I see stuff like that, I'll pick it up. 
like some of the stories and the audiobooks. I got some audiobooks. You know, I love audiobooks, so I got audiobooks. But my new car doesn't have, just like the Camaro, the Corvette doesn't have a CD player in it. So I have to use an MP3 or something or just play it from YouTube on my radio. But it's cool and everything like that. I don't know why they make the new cars like that. I'm not sure all the other new cars. Janet's car has a CD player in it. In it and my old Malibu and everything that I had from, two, I think... 2015 that was the last car I had with a CD player and once I changed over to the Camaro they didn't they took them out I'm like I was looking for when I first got in it I'm like hey where's the CD player they go no they don't have them anymore I'm like ah so because I love audiobooks I used to play them in my truck or something but okay here's number four of the cases of Sherlock Holmes very cool then we have Simpsons winter wingding number 10 <laughs> Then I I like this cover. You know, um, Rob Liefeld gets a little he gets flack and everything. Some of the stuff he does is like pretty over the top and everything, and almost too much. And the anatomy is wrong. But this is pretty cool. Uh, this is Shadowhawk number zero. If you remember the artwork inside, it was kind of cool. Kind of did like the Death Blow type style with Jim Lee. I thought that was cool, so I picked that one up. And this one I didn't have. Spider Man Life Story number three, the eighties. And I want, I, you know, you get certain books, you're like, you know what, until I get all of them, I'm not reading it. So that's what I did. So now that I got all of them, I want to read that story. I started reading number one, and to see them age, like, in real time, it's kind of cool. Like, Fantastic Four, they got, they did them. I got to read this one. Uh, here's free comic book day number one, Marvel Age Spider-Man. So, not for resale. <laughs> but I bought it. It was resold. Here we go, Marvel Tales number, uh, Spider-Man number 185. Very cool. Free comic book day, Spider-Man number one. Then we got Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man and the Man-Thing number 204. Then we have Spider-Man spinning the dark web. The Amazing Spider-Man number 14. A different costume. And this is, um, let me check and see. This is Spider-Woman, I think. I can't remember what... Um, book it is this this cover here spider woman and it's number one so i thought that was kind of cool i grabbed it when i saw it i said hey that's cool I like the cover and the artwork's nice and did you anybody grab all the books for adam hughes's uh black widow he did some really nice covers and I like when he did uh invisible girl to a visible woman artwork's not bad put this over here now this, I wanted to get all of these because I like the story. I think I found a number one and I put it back yesterday because I already have one. As I said, you know what, I don't want to keep getting them all. But year five, Star Trek, because I like Star Trek. Everything, this is number four. And here's number five. That's cool with the shadow. And here's number six. Very cool. A horror. Very cool. It's like, um, you look at all of them, all the actors and everything, and some of them that passed away. And you're like, wow. Like Kirk is still here. He's supposed to be in Columbus. Um, I forget the name of the Comic Con, but he's supposed to be coming to that one. And I'm trying to think who else is alive. Is um, uh, Sulu's still alive? Um, and um, I'm trying to think who the other ones. Chekhov is he still alive? It's like wow, man. But it's just so cool. I mean, because I grew up to them. Star Wars. Six Million Dollar Man, Bionic Woman, all the different stuff like that. When you see the real people, Wonder Woman, Batman, Adam West is gone. It's like, oh, man, Burt Ward's still here. But I like, I love to meet him. I met Adam West, got a picture with him and everything. I got to see if I can find that. But that was really cool meeting him in Pittsburgh, Ohio. Or Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I mean. <laughs> Secret Origins of Superheroes. This is number 17. This is, I think, a reprint, but that's cool. Then I got Cloak and Dagger, Strange Tales. Cloak and Dagger and Stra Doctor Strange, number one. That was cool. And here's number two. Nice. And, oh, they had more of them. Here's three. And here's number five. That's number five. That's got a, is that a tear? Yeah, number five. Very cool. Then I got, I try to put them in stacks because if you stack them too high, you know they start falling over. This is, I really like these because the way they did the covers on Thunderbolts, this um, Gerard Way, I like the way they did them. They did them all like in grays and reds and stuff. This is number five. 
I think I got a full run, cl close to a full run of these. I wanted to read it, so I thought that was cool. This is number five. Here's number four, going in backwards. And then this is cool because I like um, Philip. Oh, what's his first name? Jimenez. Oh, I had I forget his first name, but yeah, I love his artwork and everything. But just cool. Let me see and see the artwork. I think he did the artwork on the inside. Let me check this out because um, I grabbed it because I like his artwork. Because I, I remember when he first came out, um, I said, "Wait a minute, that looks like George Perez." And then I said, "Wait a minute, it looks a little different." And then when I looked at, it, I said, "Hey, he, he must like George Perez because the artwork is just so detailed and just beautiful stuff." Yeah. And like here's that like the front inside cover. Very cool detail. Phil Jimenez. But and I noticed like some of these modern day current magazine bags and everything. You you gotta be very careful because you'll push them in and bend this. You get a crease or something in your in your in the spine of the book. You're like, Ugh. but that was number three there. Here's number four. But which is cool is number four and number one look alike. He's got a costume in there. So that's cool. Then I got an older new Teen Titans. The Omega Men join forces with the new Teen Titans. This is number 24. This beautiful Perez artwork. And here's number 25. Uh, number 30. This is cool. This is a different cover for the Ultimates 3, issue number 1. That was cool. Then I got Venom, number 13. Then I found another one of these. This is, the visitors are our friends. This is 4 of V. Nice cover. Then I got Vampirilla Lives, number 3. Nice. This was cool. I wanted to read this, and when I saw it, I said, you know, grab all of them because I want to read it. I read the first one, and I liked it, so I wanted to get the rest of them. Vanish by Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman. I love Ryan Stegman's artwork, too. Here's number one. There's two. There's three. And Spawn made an appearance. There's four. Then we got, I found more of these. Wonder Woman number 21 and 60 with George Perez artwork. 21. And 60. Then I found his number. I've been trying to get zeros. So I found the new 520 Wonder Woman. So I grabbed that one. Very cool. And these. I didn't read this story before. So I wanted to check it out now. Wonder Woman and Conan. There's one. It's kind of a fitting combination. There's two. There's three. Four. And. Uh oh. Wait a minute. No, that was five. I must be missing four, but there's five and six. I got to look for number four. I can't read it yet. Well, I'll read up to number three. This was cool because I saw these and I wanted to get this and read it because I don't know how the cartoon went, but Wildcats Adventures is one, two, and three. So I like to see the cartoon. Here's number one. I, got, I keep finding these. This is nice. This is number one of War of the Gods, which I've been wanting to do a flip through for a while and haven't done it. Death of Wolverine, number four. And like I said, I went to um, the store and got one through three, and then for some reason didn't buy number four. I don't know why, but th I like the cover. Just like reflective and everything, but very cool. Then I found this one, but I've been trying to get all of these too because this is a cool story. Wastelanders Doom, number one. I like with the old man Logan and old, old man Hawkeye and stuff like that. And here's, um, okay, War of the Bounty Hunters. I found another, I had a signed copy of this from uh, Midtown Comics, which is cool. This is number one. Then I found these. Who's Who? I like these. I don't know why. I, I pick them up all the time. That's number one of Who's Who. Here's number... Uh, two and number three 
There's number four and five. I just like them. Six and here's number seven. Very cool. Man, let's see. Oh, and I found this too. This I went to a private cell and as soon as I saw it, I said, wait a minute, this looks, I can't remember the numbers. I'm thinking this isn't the one that's the first appearance, but it's the second appearance. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Werewolf by Night, number 33. Very cool. When I saw this, I said, wow, grab that. And I didn't pay much for it, but it's very nice. I thought it was very cool. And it is not bad condition either. So that's very cool. I need to, be, I think I'm going to get it cleaned and pressed because second, like to try to get this to where it's uh, folded better, where it's not so much white there and everything. I know some people that can do that. Jessup does it, half price crooks. He does it. So I have to talk to him. But, and then here's some of the last ones I have X23 num versus Dakin is number eight. Versus Dakin and I'd say Dark Wolverine. Yeah, here's number nine. And then I got X23, number four. Here's number five. And number six. Seven. Here's number 10. Number 11. Here's number 12. This is a cool cover. Here's number 13. Here, this, this is cool, too. I, I don't know if he's that big or she's that short. Here's number 14. The thing. Look how huge he is. It's like, wow. And this was cool, too. Uh, X Factor, number 6. Uh, very cool. This was at that private cell, too. Wow. Wow. That's very cool. I like that. Then I found the X-Files Origins number one. And then this last one on here, Come Together for Zatanna number four. Very cool. I also found these. This was at Half Price Books. I love this stuff. I like to do a flip through of this if, if I ever get to it. Like I said, there's so many things in it just to look at it. Very cool stuff. Like all the pictures in there and everything. So... I think those are cool. And then this one, this was cool too. It got water damage. It was on it was on sale really cheap, so I grabbed it. But then I didn't realize that it had water damage. Like in the back up here, you can see it's warped a little bit. But this was a beautiful story, and I, I still have to watch all of the episodes on Netflix. But uh, lock, lock and Key, very good. And I think that's about it. Or I could show these. These were new ones that I picked up. I didn't want to take too much time to show more stuff. But since I haven't been back for a while, I may as well do it. And you can break it up the video and watch some later and, and watch it all through now if you want to. Leave your comments and sub subscribe and comment and like and all other stuff you want to do. But I found this. This was cool. Star Wars Bounty Hunters number one. And I remember when it first came out and I'm like, love the cover. But do I want to get it? I wish I would have because it, lo it looks really cool. All the covers of Libra Mijo. Just beautiful stuff. This is cool. I got a few copies of this one. Brightest Day. And do they have an action figure of this? White Lantern Batman? That's very cool. And then I found a lot of these. Because I wanted to get this. As soon as I see them, I saw them all at different times. And I think I, I showed some of these before. But I'm showing them all now together. Cops. Number one. And just a second. Okay, I'm back. A second. Here's number two. I didn't see all of these. At one time, but I grabbed them as I got them just to make sure I had them all. Here's number three. And here's... I got two copies of number four. One and two. Here's number uh, five. Oh, two copies of that one, too. I didn't know... I don't have it written down or in my phone. and I should do that, do that use the app. Here's number seven. Uh, number ten. Uh, here's 12. Here's 14. And it says the final issue. Here's number 15. Very cool. And this is like early Bart Sears stuff. Back in 89. It says August of 89 on there. 
It's like, wow, a while ago. Okay, but I think that's it. So hopefully, once I get more books, I'll show them. I mean, because I found some really cool stuff in the, in the time, and hopefully I can do more videos of the car, the Corvette, and I want to have a contest coming up pretty soon because I've been trying to get my books together. I like to give away, like, all the whole Timeless Villains set. Either give away a few of them or one of each of them to all the different people. Like, I think there's, what, 24 covers? They'll give away one to each person or something like that. Whatever, I'll figure something out. Or a whole set to one lucky person. We'll figure something out, but... I love doing the contest. I guess I'm just, I gotta play catch up now. But there's some other books. I gotta get uh, the previews and try to go through that. And some other things that I'm gonna do. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully I can get back on schedule and do more videos and show you stuff so you can spend time having it in the background. And hopefully um, you enjoy what I've been doing. And thank you very much for everybody that supported me all the years and everything. And just, I, I hope I can just keep doing this. And I'm planning on doing this. And for a long time and show you a lot of stuff that I have because so much stuff it looks really cool but hey wait a minute you know what I'm not done yet I forgot about this Superman and the Hawkman I'm talking and getting trying to get done before I get done that's number DC Comics presents number 74 I thought that was cool because he I'm like what's he doing with Hawkman's wings on he must have lost his powers again so this one I didn't have this one this is number three of Dark Ages and I have all the other ones so I wanted to read it now so as soon as I saw it I said okay I read it now this was a cool cover. Divergence Free Comic Book Day, number one. These are cool. Detective Comics that I like. Scott McDaniel, 870, 868, and 867. So, I got them in backwards order. I like the, I like the covers and the comic book art. Star Wars Empire, number three. I found this one, the first origin of Godspeed. I made a character up called this, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, when you come up with something, you got to put it out quickly or copyrighted quickly or it's going to get gone I've had that character since probably the 90s it was somewhere in the 90s or two th early 2000s and I'm thinking you got to be kidding me it's it's gone now but here's Homage Studios Swimsuit Special number one this used to be like a magazine size I've seen it for comic book size so I thought that was cool and grabbed that this was cool I looked through the comic books and then I went back to the uh, magazine sections and everything and this was in there uh, The Hated I said, that's cool. As soon as I saw the artwork, I grabbed it. Here's some sticker, here's some stickers in the background. And here's some posters. Very cool. It all came together. And these are the last few books here. Power Girl 13, 14, and 15. 13, 14, and 15. Very cool. And these last two books I got were Preacher. Four and five, and don't you know, I was looking for one, and it wasn't there. But here's four and five, a preacher. Very cool. But now that's it for sure. But thank you very much for watching. I'll be doing some more videos as soon as I can. But uh, you guys have a great day, and have fun. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff like that, and let me know what you think. And I'll get putting on more videos as uh, much as I can possibly soon. But you guys are great, and I, I'm glad some of the comics you guys make and everything. And I'm still getting comics on some of the old, older videos, which is cool. But you guys have a great day, and Collect the Dude is out.